So in three minutes, I'm gonna to try to sum up some thoughts and feelings for this year. I've consulted some leaders, other people in my network, and these are 10 words that we came up with. Four on leadership, five for yourself, and one holistic vision for the year. First of all, for leadership, compassion. Compassion means to recognize the suffering of others and take action to help. And did you do that this year? Did you recognize when people needed some assistance? And did you offer your help unreservedly? The second leadership characteristic was to be less judgmental. The person that didn't have the face mask on on the train, the person that couldn't come to camera on Zoom. Remember Stephen Covey, seek first to understand before we can be understood. So did you judge less or can you judge less? As a leader also, did you display authentic leadership? Did you have good levels of self-awareness? Did you lead by example? Did you put people first? And that way you win the hearts and minds of the organization, but it's about walking the talk, actually following through on all those things when the stress hits the fan. And finally for leadership, were you customer centric? Did you really map out the customer's experiences and put that front, center, middle, and also into the future. What about five characteristics for, your, for yourself? Big one was this one, asking for help. When you are stuck, lonely, fearful, worried, did you reach out to somebody and ask for help? And if somebody did ask for help, did you give it back unreservedly and without expectation? For yourself, did you look after your health? Sleep, meditation, nutrition, and exercise. You can do a lot if you build on those four things, but compromise one of those and things begin to go wrong. And also for yourself, did you have the right focus? Did you focus on the right things, the things that matters, the things that produced for you? Or did you spend your time dilly-dallying around on email or things that actually you enjoyed but didn't move the needle forward? And a big one was this one. Did you leave a life of fear or freedom this year? How many hours did you spend on the news? How much time did you spend listening to other people's thoughts and worries? And how did that become counterproductive for you? Live a life of freedom where you know where your own destiny lies and don't pay so much attention to the naysayers. And a big one was this one. Did you live a life of motivation? Are you doing what you enjoy? Are you with people that motivate you? And if the answer to one of those two questions is no, what are you gonna do about it? And finally, the big one is perspective. You are just a mere dot on a big planet moving hundreds of thousand miles up through the earth. And tonight I can put my head on the pillow and I can be grateful for the fact that I lived today and I can wake up tomorrow able to do the same. So have perspective and look forward to 2021 because for me it's optimistic realism.